Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the black and tan coonhound. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Black and Tan Coonhound Coonhound is an American breed likely deriving from crosses between the Bloodhound and the Black and Tan Virginia Foxhound. It was bred to tree bears and raccoons over tough terrain in the Appalachian and Ozark Mountain ranges. The Black and Tan Coonhound uses its nose to the ground to hunt by scent, much like a Bloodhound. It was mostly used at night, trained to chase its prey up a tree and bay at it until the hunter arrived for the kill. In 1945, the Black and Tan Coonhound became the first variety to be recognized by the AKC. As always, the pros are up first, this breed just requires a weekly brushing and a monthly bath due to its short, dense coat. It sheds very little and only sheds once or twice a year. Easy going, this breed tends to be quiet and gentle because of a mellow temperament. Friendly, this breed enjoys the company of other dogs, especially when one is around. It can also get along with a dog-experienced cat. They make good pets for families because they are gentle and tolerant of children. Black and Tan Coonhound is a great first dog because it is gentle and only needs moderate exercise. They're good for working owners because they can be left alone for more extended periods. Now it's time for some cons, due to its size, it can be a boisterous with younger kids, it's not suitable to have around small pets such as birds and rodents. Drooling, this breed naturally drools and has jowls. Must be on leash, due to its bloodhound parent, this breed is known for trailing and tracking a scent. It should always be on a leash when going for walks. Due to their size, exercise needs, and love of barking, coonhounds aren't a good choice for apartment. They are neither fit for city living nor intended to be a house dog. Interesting facts, Though he was reimagined for the Disney movie, Chief is a black and tan coonhound in the 1967 novel The Fox and the Hound. They are one of six coonhound breeds, others are Treeing Walker, Redbone, English, Blue Tick, and the Plot Coonhound. Appearance, Coonhound is a big dog having muscular body and has large head with strong and blunt muzzle. Coonhounds have a black coat with tan trim, and this is the only recognized coat type for the breed. Males are slightly larger than females, standing between 23 to 27 inches in height and weigh 50 to 75 pounds. Females are slightly smaller at 21 to 26 inches in height and weigh 40 to 65 pounds. At 8 weeks old, coonhound puppies weigh 10 pounds on average and reach full size in 17 to 19 months. Coonhound lives an average of 10 to 12 years, which is a respectable life for a bigger dog. Grooming, all year long, the dog sheds constantly. Brush its coat regularly to avoid dead hairs and debris. The natural oil present in its coat can be distributed more evenly by brushing and combing. Bath the dog as needed, as excess bathing might remove the natural oil from its skin. The dog's huge, hefty ears which don't allow air to pass making the dog prone to painful ear infection. Care must be made to check the eyes, ears and nails for dirt, infections, or other issues. Nails should be trimmed every two weeks to once a month. Shedding, Coonhound has a dense coat that is shed seasonally twice a year. Weekly brushing will keep loose hair at bay, and keep your dog's coat shiny and healthy. Cost, on average a Coonhound puppy will cost $550 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $250 and $800. First year expenses are around $3,650 and will be roughly $1,860 per year or $155 per month, after that. Through the dog's lifetime, the average cost of owning a black and tan coonhound is $22,250. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability, black and tan coonhound is a smart and friendly dog that is eager to learn. But since this breed finds it difficult to change once he learns how to perform something, it is crucial to be correct and consistent from the start. Being a food-motivated breed and they will eagerly listen when a delicious treat is in weight. However, use moderation as your coonhound may gain weight if fed excessively. It enjoys exploring new locations to sniff, so a trip to a park, the woods, or a hiking trail. K. 
Canine sports like field events are a great way to get your coonhound active and interested. Long daily walks or runs, with plenty of sniffing time of course, are essential. As natural chasers, these dogs will follow their nose given the chance. To keep them from roaming too far, keep them contained or on a leash. Keeping your dog on leash and well fenced in will keep him and the neighbor squirrels safe. Intelligence, according to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Coonhound is ranked 44. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming, Coonhounds like to swim, so dry the ears thoroughly any time they've been in the water. In fact, they're great swimmers. Their webbed feet help them get around quickly in the water. They are well adapted for swimming in open water, as well as shallow rivers and lakes. Barking. Black and tan coonhounds have an incredibly loud bark, which was useful in hunting days. They can be cautious around strangers and will bark if they feel threatened. They are vocal in their expression and their baying sound is loud, so, while they may not bark much the deep howl is powerful. Weather and climate, although short, the coat is made to resist the rigors of both winter and summer. Their well-built physique and thick coats make them both cool in hot areas and warm in cold climates. Friendliness, generally, black and tan coonhound are friendly and good with older kids. However, they may tend to be a bit aggressive towards other animals if they're not properly socialized. Their friendly disposition means that they do well with strangers, though they may be a bit reserved at first. Adaptability, they are known for their mournful sounding bay and need space to run. They're not ideal apartment dogs. They are much better suited to households with large ultra-secure back gardens that a large dog can safely roam. Because of their stubbornness, training them can be difficult for novice or too lenient dog owner, but with consistent positive reinforcement techniques and plenty of high-impact treats dash you will be rewarded with a friendly, affectionate companion. Coonhound can stay home alone for 5 to 8 hours throughout the day with enough exercise, but this counter surfer might benefit from a crate to keep him safe and out of your trash and snacks. Guard slash watchdog, the ever vigilant coonhound is an alert watchdog who will let you know if any person or animal enters his property. They're too amiable and gentle for guard dog duty. But you won't mind at all, as your friendly dog will become popular with everyone he meets. Drooling, the hound breed is known for drooling, so, if necessary, wipe its mouth with a wet towel. Health issues, coonhounds are pretty healthy dogs but they are predisposed to some health conditions. These include hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, eye and ear problems, and hemophilia B. In addition, they are predisposed to coonhound paralysis which occurs from exposure to raccoons. It is a large sized dog so it may suffer from hip dysplasia in old age. The dog has heavy ears which is prone to ear infections. It is not so active dog but being large in size, you should feed it twice daily. Don't always leave food on the plate. Feed it carrots, yogurt, and fresh veggies like cucumber apart from barf diet. Working with a reputable breeder can help you be more prepared for future health issues, and regular checkups can enhance your dog's health by treating and preventing sickness. Have you had any experience with Coonhound? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like our video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.